kids. Today, our story is about a bad choice. In Genesis chapter 3, verse 19, it says, By the sweat of your brow, you will eat your food. Now there appeared in the garden one day a serpent who had come to tempt Adam and Eve. He was very clever. One day he found Eve alone in the garden near the forbidden tree and he spoke. Did God really say not to eat from every tree in the garden? Eve was startled and said to the serpent, we may eat the fruit of every tree in the garden except this one, for God has warned us. He said, do not eat this fruit or even touch it or we will die. You will not die, said the serpent. God knows that if you eat the fruit of this tree, you will be just like him. Your eyes will be opened and you will know about good and evil and you will be just as powerful as he is. Eve then gazed back upon the forbidden fruit. She remembered God's warning, but the serpent's word did seem to make sense. She could see with her own eyes that this fruit looked as ripe and sweet as any in the garden. This fruit looks good. It probably tastes good too. And wisdom is something everyone needs. The serpent is right, she thought. God doesn't want us to be wise. So Eve took the fruit and ate it. Soon, Adam came by and she gave the fruit to her husband. He ate it also. Adam and Eve had sinned against God. Soon they heard the voice of the Lord as he walked through the garden. Adam, where are you? He called. Adam answered, We were hiding, Lord, because we were naked and afraid. And God said, Adam, have you eaten from the tree that I warned you not to? Adam answered, The woman you made to be my helper, she gave me the fruit, and I did eat. Then the Lord said to the woman, What have you done? The serpent confused me, Lord. He told me I would not die, and that we could be gods too. Adam and Eve were afraid and ashamed of what they had done. And God said to the serpent, I curse you this day for what you have done. You will crawl on your belly all the days of your life. The serpent fell silent on the ground and slithered away. Adam, the Lord said, Because you disobeyed me, you shall work very hard for your daily bread. The ground will be full of thorns and thistles. The Lord made them clothes to wear and sent them out of the Garden of Eden, never to return again. Behind them, he placed an angel with a flaming sword to guard the entrance to Eden. Our Bible truth for today is, I will seek to obey the Lord. Say it with me. I will seek to obey the Lord.